What is going on everybody and welcome to another weekly update and in this video what I give you is a state of the markets and some stock picks for the upcoming week. I also provide some events that are coming up during the week uh, so that way you guys are prepared coming into the week ahead in the stock markets. So if that sounds like something you're interested in remember to subscribe and hit that like button uh, because you enjoy the content. So being said uh, the market last week was rough. Uh, we were waiting on Powell. So this past week, the markets were really rough, to say the least. We were waiting on Powell. Uh, he came out and essentially didn't give us an answer, aside from the fact that tapering will stop completely in March. Then he answered a question that was very suspicious in the fact that there will be a rate raise but not sure when not sure how much people are expecting march that's what we're kind of pricing in was a rate raise for march even on uh, the federal futures you can look and see that that was essentially trying to be priced in uh about a half a point i don't know if that's the case i think they try to price in the worst case scenario uh, we have hit this week, we did hit 12% uh, correction on the index. Uh, being said, we are officially, we officially hit uh, that correction territory uh, plus a little bit extra on top. Uh, so I think we are good enough going forward. The point, the thing to watch out for uh, going into the following uh, weeks and months is what Powell is doing. The meetings are going to matter more. Uh, and so that's what you have to be mindful of. You have to be mindful of uh, what Powell is going to do. I think uh, rate raises are going to come in pretty hot. We had a lot of rumors uh, coming in on Thursday about possibly seven rate raises, which is absolutely absurd. It would just cripple the market completely. And then uh, come Friday morning, uh, JPM came out and essentially said, uh, we'll be lucky if we see three. Uh, so... Uh, in my opinion, I still think it's going to be two. Uh, really depends on how things are. So I can see where Powell comes in and says uh, that it depends because uh, there's, it, I think he still thinks that it is um, transitory and that it will die down after the first quarter. Uh, so I think he's kind of trying to gauge that to see if it starts uh, tapering off. If it does, he might come full force with the rate raises. Uh, but I think that's what he's waiting on because if it's not, he's going to taper or he's going to start raising rates a lot slower. Uh, so I think that's what he's kind of waiting on Q1 to really see how uh, the economy does in that in that first uh, quarter. So coming this week, we're still uh, finishing some uh, finishing up some very strong uh, big tech. Uh, Apple did absolutely incredible. Microsoft did great. Uh, Tesla did great. Um, but we were just trying to digest what Powell had said this past week. So coming into this week, I think the beige book doesn't come out for two more weeks. So I think this week we might actually get bullishness. We closed, if you go back to the chart here, we closed extremely bullish. We started pushing back up. But again, it is a uh, high side of that range that I've been talking about. Uh, come Monday, we need to hold above this for... 4,400 mark on SPX. If we can, uh, well, really, we want to get above this uh, 4,433 mark, um, and then we can start heading back up. Again, there's going to be a lot of resistance. It's going to be pretty choppy going on the way up, but uh, I do really like this close. It was a very strong day. Uh, again, we had Powell. It sunk us. Then we kind of just digested the information. I think if we were going to continue to sell more, it would have been on Friday, but we held uh, the bottom range, and then we, again, rocket is straight out of there it is breaking the trend it looks good but again we're still in this range are we going to actually break this and continue up or what are we doing um now bringing up everything going into next week we have google amd and uh paypal now this isn't all the earnings these are the ones i am watching specifically i know uh qcom also has earnings on wednesday uh, but these are the ones i'm watching uh we got a bunch of google amd paypal on tuesday uh, Facebook Wednesday, Amazon Thursday, uh, some really big ones. Events, there's a lot of data coming out. I'm not going to list all the data. Jobless claims. I don't need, I, to be honest, didn't even want to list this. 
I don't think the data, the data does not matter anymore because we've seen that even though the data is showing one way, Powell just essentially does what he wants. So we don't know what gauge he's going off of. Even the Senate asked him multiple questions and he didn't really give an answer. So it's really just on Powell. What is Powell going to do? And so we're kind of walking on eggshells with what is going to happen with rate raises. I think once they're actually announced, once they actually get implemented, I think the market will be perfectly fine. You're going to see volatility around that time. But if he delays it again after the Q, I think he's waiting for that Q1 to really determine where the market stands. And then from that point, so we can go forward. But again, a lot of the data I don't think matters anymore. It's more the meetings and uh, what's coming from Powell. So there's going to be a lot of focus on every meeting. Uh, every FOMC meeting, every beige book that comes out, because uh, it will provide detail into those meetings and kind of see what what where Powell is kind of sitting at. People are trying to get the mindset of Powell at this point and trying to determine. Uh, obviously, the market didn't care. They said, OK, well, Powell, if you're not going to give us an answer, we're just going to go ahead and correct 12 percent uh, to try to. Uh, soften that blow when it does come, I think is what they try to do, which I think is good because uh, we didn't we didn't want a 12% correction uh, when he announced that if it was an emergency taper, uh, which is a very strong possibility that could happen. Uh, but anyways, aside from that, this week, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at all the leaders going in this week. Uh, if we do open up above that mark, I'm looking at your Tesla, Google, Shop, ASML, uh, LRCX, and NVIDIA and coin going this week. Yes, uh, Bitcoin is still holding very well too. Uh, again, I really like the chart. I do like the strength again, but we do need to break out uh, coming into this week. And then we have a lot of resistance. Uh, we did bounce off the 50 on a weekly. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, so I could see us even possibly retesting that 20 weekly uh, which is at the 4563 mark. We're going to get a hard rejection off that. We didn't actually retest that as the first time we're actually going to attempt. So I think um, next week we might get a nice solid run in the beginning of the week, slam off that pretty hard. Um, and then we gotta, we'll get to break our way through this. So we're going to see some chop trying to get back through all this junk. Uh, again, I think I'm still very bullish. And I think um, a lot of people, a lot of analysis are really pushing hard on a bear market. I just don't see that. It's just uh, the rare, we have to get the rates out of the way. Once the rates, all the rate jazz is out of the way, I think we're going to continue up and be very strong. There's still a lot of money in the market. The Fed said they're going to try to do something to remove some of that money, but it's not, the Fed doesn't move as fast. We're, we're, we see that. The Fed doesn't move as fast as they talk. So, uh, being said, and even their talking has been very slow. So, just be mindful of that. I think any action taken by the Fed when it comes to that will will be delayed to the later half of this year, possibly even next year. Um, so we'll see. Uh, and again, it all really just depends. Uh, Bitcoin, again, like I said, it held that mark, the 32 mark. That's the one I was talking about. It still continue to hold that. It is pushing up nicely. I think, uh, again, with inflation and everything, I think in NFTs is something I keep reiterating every uh, every week. And every day is, is that um, Bitcoin and crypto are really going to start skyrocketing, I think, this year, especially with concerns. If for some reason after Q1, uh, Powell determines that he, he can't raise rates still uh, because things are still bad, um, I think people are going to start worrying about inflation or possibly runaway inflation after that point. And this could continue to start uh, running up as far as a hedge against inflation. So just be mindful of that. I think Bitcoin still has a very strong year this year. Uh, so does the market still has a very strong year this year. It's just, it's been a year and a half and nothing is really corrected. This is our first official like correction since essentially the pandemic, essentially the bottom of the pandemic uh, till now, we haven't really had a true correction. Uh, so being said, uh, all the pullbacks and corrections we've had have been very diluted. Yeah, tech took a pretty heavy hit last March. Um, but there was a uh, normalization kind of going on there and talks of it, what the possibilities were. Again, the Fed doesn't move fast. Uh, so tech recovered pretty fast towards the end of the year and started running, which it normally does. So uh, so the first one we got is uh, obviously Tesla. 
I talk about this one all the time. I really want this to break back above the 200 to 853 mark is what we're looking at. Uh, so if we're back above this uh, next week. I think we could start actually pushing back up. I think we're going to get that earnings delay next week is what's going to happen. And we're probably going to get some monster moves next week. Again, it still needs to break this. I don't like uh, the market Tesla sitting at this level and continuing to chop. Uh, the longer it stays here, um, I don't like because if Powell announces uh, some massive rate raises really fast, this is going to break and we're going to see this crumble down even more than what it is. Uh, right now, the market is just so sensitive to rate raises right now. It is uh, <laughs> the Fed has to be very careful. Uh, so, so right now, this range is holding the 802 mark and that uh, 850 mark. I want to, again, to break 853. And then again, we have a lot of resistance we're trying to break through, but I think we get a clean shot. If we can hold above 853, uh, we got a clean shot back to, to 962 mark, uh, possibly even 1,000. Uh, really just depends on the momentum of the market. I think once the market starts rolling, uh, we'll definitely see that. Uh, Google is the other one. It, will, it started to actually break out here. Uh, so we might actually get a retest in the gap up uh, starting next week. Again, it has earnings next week on um, on Tuesday. Uh, so this one I might more than likely wait until after Tuesday, see how it does on earnings, and then play the continuation on this. Uh, so this could be essentially anywhere uh, coming this week. But I do like that it broke above this uh, 26 uh, 46 mark and it's holding. I lo I'm looking for the retest and possibly pushing up. Again, you got resistance at the 2700 mark, that uh, 2780 mark as well. Uh, so you got to break back back through all that stuff for it to really start uh, skyrocketing back to all time highs. I think uh, us skyro skyrocketing back to all time highs isn't going to be a possibility until we get that um, that rate raise. Once we actually understand when that is, I think we're going to get possibly chop and push, chop and push kind of thing. Uh, so I think going back to all-time highs will be slow until we figure out what's going on with those rate raises, uh, which again is, or it could even be that Powell kicks the can so far down the road that the market just gets fed up with them and just starts pushing, uh, which is always a possibility if there's news and, and people aren't getting answers and it's just been too long of a period. The market gets uh, tired of that and it just continues on and starts to ignore what is going on. It, they won't ignore a rate raise. Uh, believe me, when that does come out, it will we will correct that initial rate raise. The rate raises after that it won't really matter. It's just that initial uh, sticker shock kind of um, effect that goes on. And uh, shop is the other one I have. This one I really like. It's been holding that uh, 812 mark really well. It's definitely crumbled since uh, all time highs here. Uh, shop has taken one of the biggest beatings out of all big tech. You're looking at a 54% uh, chop. <laughs> so I'm looking for this to make a, a really good recovery uh, going into it again. Amazon earnings is really going to tell shop destroyed Black Friday. Uh, Amazon is, has been losing people. Uh, shop supports more like local business or like a small business. And so I, I think shop might get more of the, the sales as opposed to Amazon. Uh, so we'll have to see how that plays out. But um, I think shop can do really well uh, coming into this next week. Uh, and recover a good amount of that. Again, we got a pretty clean shot to 11.27. Uh, again, you've got resistance here at uh, the 9.47 mark, so you got to be mindful of that. But um, and we wanted to break out of this range, uh, but we'll have to see. As long as it holds that uh, 8.12 mark, I think we're good. ASML is the other one I, I do like going into this week. Uh, it struggled today. It broke down like everything else, but then it popped right back up, essentially hit that 20 on the monthly EMA. And they pop up. I don't want this to be because normally off of monthly support, you'll get a big bounce. And then after that, it kind of determines if we're going to dive. Uh, so we really have to see <laughs> what the market does. Uh, kind of, we're not out of the woods, ultimately. It's where you need to understand we're not completely out of the woods until we get that first straight raise. We may correct more. Uh, so just play it day by day and see how we do. But I do like ASML. I want this back above that uh, 649 mark. If we can get back above that, we got a clean shot up to essentially that 685 mark. And then from that point, we got a lot of other resistance we got to break through. So I got to watch out for that. 
Uh, it'll be a slow chop, I think, on the way up again until we get rate raises. Once we get kind of out of the house of that, so I think we could start pushing up. It's going to be a, a very different year uh, comparatively to other years. Uh, you normally have an average year where certain things play out, like you'll have the Christmas rally, uh, you have the dead summer. I mean, you have like certain uh, periods uh, during the year that aren't as active or overly active. And um, I think this year we've already seen that we come out this year uh, getting a correction. So, uh, which doesn't always happen. It happens, but it's not the normal uh, swing of things. So we'll have to see how this plays out. But I do like ASML, I do like LRCX. Uh, again, great support. Uh, same kind of thing here. We're looking for it to hold this, hold this 533 mark down here. I don't really want it to break that. Uh, we've got a pretty clean shot up to the 600 mark. Uh, so I want to watch this uh, coming into next week. Uh, you do have some resistance here at uh, 5, uh, seven, 580, essentially. Um, but again, once we, if we could break above that, I want to see what the momentum is because we've had just the gas has just been straight to the downside and upside has been uh, a struggle, uh, pretty much going up. So if we can actually start catching some momentum, I think you know Apple really did that today, and really uh, provided a lot of gas to the upside, which kind of helped the market uh, towards midday. It really started pushing hard, uh, so it definitely helped. Uh, Nvidia. Nvidia is another big one to watch. We want to, to break and hold above this 230. If it does, uh, you officially, we've already kind of officially broke the wedge, but we need to hold above this 200 is what's important. If we can do that, I think this goes back to all time highs. Again, with chips and stuff, uh, Biden came out on Friday and also said that chips are gonna be a big deal. Chips are definitely gonna lead the way. So we have to see how Nvidia, uh, Nvidia does um, moving forward. Uh, coin is the last one. Like I said, if Bitcoin does run, you want to start looking at your coins and seeing where they're at. Uh, they're, again, they're at rock bottom. I uh, don't want it to break the 168 mark uh, and break out of the 195 mark. If we can do that, we can definitely make up some major ground here and, and do some damage with those. Like I said, everything's been beaten down. Um, it's just taking your pick, staying with uh, the leaders right now. Uh, eventually your other mid cap, small caps will pick up, but you want to stay with the leaders, lead the way. And then when they stall, I uh, start looking mid cap, small caps, uh, kind of rotation at that point. But if you've made it this far, uh, remember to hit the like button and subscribe and until next time, I'll see you guys later.